I think it's best understood as a continuum. I mean, really, when we had um, the the ABS system on our brakes that everyone's familiar with, that was just in the top of the range Mercedes right at the start, and now it's standard in every car. And that was the first sense in which we got some automation into our vehicles. And now it's just been now we've we're familiar with uh, the assisted uh, parking, we're assisted with the the anti-lock braking. So it's just a continuum along this point to where to drive, cars will be ultimately driverless. But, so I think it's best understood in that way rather than some big bang Jetson sort of idea. I think people understand that we're living in a changing economy and that, that South Australia with its skills and talents needs to try and get ahead of the curve so that we can get the jobs of the future. So when they see something like this happening, if they can understand it, I think they'll be excited about it and want to get in behind it. And we think people seeing these sorts of technologies out on the roads, wanting to be a part of it, uh, will attract a lot more people uh, into those sorts of uh, engineering, uh, mathematics, uh, IT, communications uh, related courses, and I think that's a great thing. I think particularly as the community's uh, becoming comfortable with it, uh, they're going to want to feel very confident that the science and the technology and the devices which are providing all of these capabilities in the vehicles are well understood and that they're comfortable that they're safe. So certainly in the early years that will be absolutely critical. Uh, but I think you know, just as we uh, trust the ABS and the uh, electronic stability control in cars now, we're not too fussed about how it works, we just want to know that it's there and it's going to work. Uh, I think eventually we'll get to that point with this technology as well. I am very supportive, I'm very enthusiastic and excited about this opportunity of driverless cars. So absolutely yes, in so many ways, from just a rest, relaxation, safety, productivity, the list just goes on. I think this is a brave new world, I think we should be embracing it.